In the annals of history, few stories are as tragic and shrouded in mystery as the fate of the Romanov family. The end of an era, marked by betrayal, revolution, and murder. Before we delve into this harrowing, don't forget to like and subscribe for more intriguing historical stories. The Romanovs were the last imperial dynasty to rule Russia. For over three centuries, they wielded power and influence across a vast empire. Tsar Nicholas II, the last emperor of Russia, ascended to the throne in 1894. His reign was marked by political turmoil and social unrest. Empress Alexandra, wife of Nicholas II, was a devoted mother and wife. However, her strong-willed nature and reliance on mystics, particularly Rasputin, made her unpopular with the Russian people. The Romanovs had five children, Olga, Tatiana, Maria, Anastasia, and Alexei. Each had their own distinct personality, but they shared a close-knit bond. Grigory Rasputin, a mystic healer, gained significant influence over the royal family due to his ability to alleviate Alexei's hemophilia symptoms. This connection further isolated the Romanovs from the public and nobility. World War I exacerbated Russia's internal strife. Nicholas II took command of the Russian army, leaving Alexandra to govern in his absence, leading to disastrous decisions influenced by Rasputin. In 1917, the February Revolution erupted, fueled by widespread discontent with the war and the monarchy. Nicholas II was forced to abdicate, ending over 300 years of Romanov rule. After the abdication, the Romanov family was placed under house arrest in the Alexander Palace. Their movements were restricted and they were cut off from the outside world. The provisional government initially planned to exile the Romanovs. However, the political situation in Russia was rapidly deteriorating. In October 1917, the Bolsheviks led by Lenin seized power in a coup. The Romanovs' fate became increasingly uncertain under the new regime. In August 1917, the Romanov family was moved to Tobolsk in Siberia, a remote and isolated location. Despite their confinement, they maintained hope for a future rescue. In Tobolsk, the Romanovs lived under strict supervision but managed to retain a semblance of normalcy. They spent their days reading, praying, and maintaining a disciplined routine. As the civil war between the Red and White armies intensified, the Bolsheviks launched the Red Terror, targeting perceived enemies of the revolution, including the Romanovs. In April 1918, the Romanov family was moved to the Apatyev house in Yekaterinburg. Their conditions worsened as their guards became more hostile. The Apatyev house, ominously referred to as the House of Special Purpose, became the Romanovs' final residence. They were confined to a few rooms under constant surveillance. By mid-1918, the Bolshevik leadership, fearing that the advancing White Army might rescue the Romanovs, decided that the family must be executed. On the night of July 16, 1918, the Romanovs were awakened and told they were being moved for their safety. They were led to a basement room, ostensibly to wait for transport. In the early hours of July 17, 1918, the family and their attendants were brutally executed by a firing squad. The Tsar, his wife, their children, and loyal servants all perished. The executioners hastily buried the bodies in a nearby forest, attempting to conceal their actions. The remains were later disinterred and moved to a more remote location. When the White Army captured Yekaterinburg, they discovered evidence of the execution but found no bodies. The exact fate of the Romanovs remained a mystery for decades. Rumors and myths about the survival of some Romanov family members, particularly Anastasia, persisted for many years, captivating the public imagination. The Soviet government denied any knowledge of the Romanovs' fate, fostering an environment of speculation and intrigue. In 1979, amateur investigators discovered the remains of the Romanovs in a forest near Yekaterinburg, but the findings were kept secret until the end of the Soviet Union. In 1991, after the fall of the Soviet Union, the remains were exhumed and identified through DNA analysis, confirming the deaths of Nicholas II, Alexandra, and three of their children. The remains of Alexei and one of his sisters were not found in the initial exhumation, leading to further investigations and continued mystery. In 2007, the remains of Alexei and his sister Maria were discovered in a separate grave, bringing closure to the tragic story of the Romanov family. In 2000, the Russian Orthodox Church canonized the Romanov family as martyrs, 
recognizing their suffering and the injustices they endured. The murder of the Romanov family marked a brutal end to the Russian monarchy and symbolized the violent upheaval of the Russian Revolution. Today, the story of the Romanovs serves as a poignant reminder of the human cost of political turmoil and the fragility of power. Thank you for joining us on this journey through history. If you found this story compelling, please like, subscribe, and share it with others who might be interested in the past's untold tales.